well, it's the next day now, and I spent half of last night reloading Windows and wrestling with computer software. I could uh, give you the details, but I'll spare you. Suffice it to say, Microsoft is a pain. Anyway, all the software is loaded now on my mega machine here. <clears throat> so I'm almost ready to, you know, test out my special new machine. I got some distilled water, and I have to put that in a five-gallon pail of some kind, or whatever I can find, and then stick the pump in that to uh, pump water through the laser to keep it from overheating and exploding. So let's see if I can find a five-gallon pail or substitute. Well, here's a pretty good bucket. I think it used to have chlorine in it, though, and I'm not sure. Well, it... The laser blaster instructions requested distilled water, so I'm guessing it has to be pretty pure. <clears throat> so I'm going to rinse the crap out of this, and then I'm going to line it with a garbage bag just to make sure no contaminants are in there. There we go, all cleaned out and lined. And I would bet that it wouldn't really matter if I just used tap water in this, but I wouldn't bet $2,500, which is, you know, basically what this thing ended up costing in the end. <clears throat> Whenever I'm doing something new and I uh, don't have all the information, I just follow the instructions exactly the first time. Until I find out more. Oh, and I have to open it or load a PDF reader, of course, so I can view the instructions. And I don't like how Adobe, like, takes forever to load things, and you try to scroll through pages, and it, like, just freezes and takes forever. Well, I downloaded an alternative, and check it out, it's way faster. Ooh. Okay, I'm going to go back to the instructions now. I'm looking for which of the uh, two hoses coming out of the back is the intake, and which one's the outlet for the water. I'm guessing it doesn't really matter. But, like I said, I follow the instructions exactly the first time when I'm dealing with something unknown. Excellent. Now, something to test. Oops. Oh, and it comes with a little height checker. Okay, I have to move that down like an eighth of an inch. I feel like I'm preparing to fire the Death Star or something with all the stuff that's going on. Oh, I guess the key's stuck in there when it's in on. Oh, that's cool. Let's plug in all our junk. We've got a fan, laser blaster, compressor. Oh, yeah. Ooh, hey, when it's on, you can see the little red dot. Now, that's not the actual laser. That's just a little red dot from a little diode thing. But supposedly the laser will blast right where that dot is when I push these two buttons. Did I, did I make sure I did everything right? Let me just double check. Alright, let's give it a try. Hmm. Looks like it's doing something. Didn't exactly cut through. So I think I'm going to have to do all the uh, laser mirror lining up situations. Actually, it looks like kind of a pain in the butt. They do it at the factory supposedly, but then in shipping it can get jostled. Hmm. Looks pretty out of focus though. Giant dot. Oh, this is the little power knob. You're supposed to keep it under 15 milliamps, which is like halfway up on this thing. So I did turn it on and adjusted the thing to like 12 milliamps while I was doing that. I know that's a lot of extraneous information, but if I was watching this, thinking about buying one of these, that's stuff I'd want to know. To do the laser focusing job, you need thermal paper, like a receipt. Gotta have a receipt around here somewhere for something. There's a receipt and a little tiny piece taped over the entrance hole for the, uh, you know, the blaster zone area. Uh, this is the mirror I'll likely have to adjust. Unless it's hitting right in the center, in which case... Oh. Whoa, yeah man, that's like nowhere near the center. The middle is like way over here somewhere. Hmm. Dang it. Well, sort of dang it. 
also good because now I know what to fix and how to fix it. Yay. So this mirror has three little screws uh, pulling on the mirror and then little rubber things holding the mirror in place. So I just have to tighten those in the right places to like bend the mirror to change that a tiny bit to hit the center. I did some more test blasts and moved the thing and got it pretty close to the center but just to double check I'm going to take this piece off, put a new piece on and give it another blast and make sure it's actually in the middle. Okay, new piece. Well, that wasn't long enough, was it? Oh, there we go. Yeah, that looks about dead center. I was kind of dreading having to uh, align the laser, but now that I did it, I feel much better about it. Escape. <laughs> I aligned the laser. <laughs> okay, there's me crappy test. Now let's try it again. Turn up my knob a little bit. Oh, let's try up my knob a bunch more. Yeah, that's not I'm going to at least get it up to 10. Alright, let's see what we've got in here. Hmm. Still doesn't look that great. Try that again. Actually, at the right power. Hmm. Hmm. Oh, one of those actually went right through. Okay, let me try that again. Not for so long that it makes big burning marks. Well, maybe for so long. I don't know. How long should I do it? I have no idea what I'm doing here. Anyway, it made a hole right through, so that's a good sign. Oh, nice. I just did it for a second that time. Check it out. It went right through on both of those. Hmm. I think presumably now I could tell the computer to tell it to print something out. Cut something out. I guess I better plug in my USB cord. Ay caramba, it's doing something. Hopefully I'm cutting that out or doing nothing, I don't know. Whoa. Okay, it didn't cut all the way through, but I smell victory. Let's try that again. Go! I'm just going to do it a couple times now, see if it'll go right through. Ooh, that's so fancy. <laughs> now I'm off to run through the house and show everyone my new fancy gear. I'm not going to video it that video that though because I'm going to be the only one really excited about it. Everyone else is going to be like, "Oh god. All right. All right. Yes, very nice, Jamie. Good work. Way to go." And that's how it's going to go. But I'm going to pretend they're very excited too. Now all I need is material. Oh, good thing two 4x8 sheets of acrylic fit perfectly inside a geo tracker. <laughs> Well, actually, it's a good thing I got clear, or else the driver wouldn't have been able to see out the side. So I got a sheet of 16th and 8th inch, because that's what my designs call for, of course. I also got a bunch of steel sticks, uh, otherwise known as nails. But to me, they're just steel sticks. So, you know when you're like a kid, or sometimes an adult, and you get a new video game and it's really good? And then this thing happens where you don't sleep for like three days. I think I'm not going to sleep tonight. <laughs>